Today's video is brought to you by Himaway Bike, featuring the all-terrain step-through electric bike. More about the product, an unboxing, and demonstration at the end of today's video. And welcome back once again to Everyman Daily Car Videos. My chance to give you some behind the scenes footage as well as exterior and interior footage of the vehicles I'm driving or have driven recently. And this week I had the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport in cyber orange metallic. Here it is, inside and out. <laughs> What's going on? Dave Erickson here with an unboxing and first ride demo of this e-bike. This is a Himaway step-through cruiser bike. I'm so excited to share with you my experience so far and how this thing works all together. I'm gonna go over some of the components of how this bike is set up and what you see on here. But first, here's my unboxing and the order of activities that I took to get this thing assembled, which took me about 60 minutes. I could have gone faster, but I was distracted by my dog and I was just really taking my time. So after I cut open the box very carefully and revealed the him away from inside. I had to install the handlebars first, uh, but then I went to the front wheel, which is a large fat tire, removing the plastic axle guards. The recommended pressure is 20 PSI. Then I installed the pedals, adjusted the saddle height. They include an optional rear rack, which I think is great in case you want to carry along a backpack or other kind of supplies. That took a little while to figure out because you also have a brake light back there, but it didn't take too long. While I was assembling the bike, I had my 48 volt Samsung lithium battery pack plugged in. It takes six to nine hours to fully charge. Luckily, I had some juice in there already, but I charged it uh, while I was going. The bike itself has a maximum load capacity of 350 pounds. The seat height goes from 28 to 36 inches. 
The two tires are 26 inches and they're four inches wide, so 26 by four. The motor is a 750 watt motor. Wheelbase, 45 inches, total length, 75. The handlebar reach is 46 and a half. The overall weight of the bike, just over 70 pounds, so it is quite a load to move around. And now an official tour of how this bike is set up and what all these things are. All right, your handlebar setup. Brakes on both sides. This is straight up handlebar here, but this side is actually a throttle. So you turn this forward and you propel yourself all electricity. You've got a Shimano seven speed shifter here. This will also go up. Press that back down to go back to one. Over here, controls, I button, power button. I button will show you some information within the LCD monitor. So I'm pressing the I button, I can cycle through the trip for that ride, ride time, odometer, max speed, and there's also an average speed after your ride is complete. And of course, battery level is there as well. This here is your headlight on and off because of course, you get a headlight for some of those darker rides or rides right before sunrise or right after sunset. So here's your bike as a whole and how it's broken down. There is your LED headlight, your front fork, and your front brake there. Obviously the pedals, the controls, your frame, and there is your large battery pack there. Obviously the saddle, the rack for your books, so your backpack. Uh, the motor is back in here along with your derailleur. So this big fat area right here, that's where you find your your motor and your seven speed Shimano shifters. This is the Shimano Altus. And the adjustability with the seat post, pull this out and you can change the height of the seat post. And there is your LED headlight. It also comes with a brake light, which will come in handy if you're riding in traffic or even if you're out in the woods and someone needs to see you or if they're following too closely. And I use some zip ties here to tie it along some of the framing. Again, it's a big bike, over 70 pounds, and it's got some power. Well, it looks like a beautiful day for a test ride. Let's go. All right, check it out. Himaway Cruiser e-bike. Turn the handle here on the handlebars. I can accelerate to 22 miles per hour. All electricity. Pretty cool. Well, there's my maiden ride. As you can see, it does have some kick to it. You turn the throttle, you're going from zero to 22 miles per hour in a matter of 10 to 15 seconds. So there is a bit of a kick and uh, some torque to it, but with the all electric battery, I think you should expect that. And uh, when you do pedal the bike, it also um, encourages the battery to kick in as well. So you have the option of both pedaling and using electricity and changing the speeds of uh, how fast you want to go. Now I've heard and did some research that you can change the speed and get it up to 28 miles per hour. I'm not going to get into that just yet, uh, but this is just my first unboxing and test ride. Very excited to take this uh, mountain biking and uh, around town. Should be kind of cool. So thank you very much for the watching this uh, first unboxing and ride of the Himaway Cruiser e-bike with these big fat tires. And to learn more about this product, check the links below this video. See you next time. I'm Dave Erickson. Adios. One final note. If you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com.